Good afternoon guys, welcome to our channel, or if you're new here, welcome, we're glad you can join us today. So today's video, I've got a niche video that will particularly appeal to train collectors and railway yana fans. So this is a part of a big box lot of Chinese and Mongolian rail photographs. So I've got hundreds of these, but for the sake of a manageable video length, I've pulled out that much, which will hopefully be around 30 minutes long. So without any further ado, let's start with the first photograph. So this one says... Um, not the quality of tungsten. I don't, I don't know that. It says 1992 anyway, and it's all written in Chinese characters, apart from the date. So nothing written at the back, so we move on to the next photograph. By the way, if you're interested in any of these, please message us or leave us a comment down below and we will ship it to you worldwide via Royal Mail checkout will be via eBay. Next photograph says, mm, I can't read the writing, you know. Anyway, it's a lovely vintage blue train. Looks very industrial. This is in China still. Next one is Okay. Um, <clears throat> it says 5250. This is your train engine. Unfortunately, the, the background is very dirty. Lots of plastic bags. But you can see industrial looking buildings. Some power lines overhead. Very far away place, it looks like. This is a lovely photograph. It shows you the train, the full length of its body, the railroad tracks, and some buildings on either side. I like it. Gives you the big picture. If any of you are familiar with this logo, probably that denotes a train company or a company. Next train photograph, it says Taihang 003. Looks very misty and some industrial looking buildings on the background. Very nice. Next photograph. I'm trying to decipher the handwriting, but I can't. Next photograph. An orange train. I have a feeling this would be trains transporting goods from inner China to the ports because China is highly industrial country lots of manufacturing stuff like that Yuan something coal railway empties to the port 
Oh, so this train transports coal from inner China going to the port. Very big country. These trains must cover miles and miles on each trip. Next photograph looks very lush. Shibuxi Jiang Railway. Photograph by Francesco Pozzato. Pozzato. There you go, they have identified this Shibuchi Jiang Railway. Photo taken 9th of December 2002. There are some bananas, some trees. Looks like spring greens or cabbage perhaps. Very cool. That's a steam engine and it's transporting some goods. Very cool photo. Next photo it says Beijing Railway Museum. Sifang Plate. Photo 12 November 2003. There you go, Beijing Railway Museum. Okay, next one. Still at the Beijing Railway Museum, 12 December 2003. Very well restored train. Next photograph, Beijing Railway Museum again. Some staff or visitors. I like it. Beijing Railway Museum. Steam engine with your train cars behind. What does it say? Press of British origin. Oh, sorry. Probably of British origin, it says. 12 December 2003. Right, so this is where some of our trains and they go to the museums. Beijing Railway Museum played Shuzhou. 12 December 2003. Wow. Whoever did this compilation is such a train fan. Look at all the hard work they did. My. Xinjiang Yard, 16th November 2003. Spare engine, it says. It's interesting to locate this on the map. I might do that. Since Sheng Yard still. Changzhou. Changzhou. Very old train. Look at the body. Very rusty. Maybe it's time for it to retire. Bless him or her. <laughs> it's done its job. Let him rest. Or put him in the museum. This one came off. Right, I managed to put the photo back in the cardboard. So this is another yellow train. Very heavy duty looking, and we've seen some Chinese stuff. Look, they're here. Very somber looking background, very industrial. 
very industrial. This is another train photo. Okay. This is taken on December 2003. Next one. Ping Ding Chan Chong. No, I'm not gonna attempt to read those. And this is a railway plate. Unnumbered. Hmm. November 2003. Another railway plate. DH Shijaya Shu. My. No way, I'm gonna read that. And next one. Chu Chang, 16th November 03, making up train for departure. So these have got cars for loading up coal, something. It's a very cool looking train, very vintage. That's the logo there, like a pudu. Next one, Yamen Miao, mm -hmm. Ji Tong Line, name word, okay, Yamen Miao, check that out in Google Maps to see where they are, next one, very busy, overhead there yeah these are industrial trains not passenger trains so very cool there are funds for industrial stuff anything industrial they collect that's what floats their boat <laughs> So three trains there waiting in line for duty. Ready for work boys. <laughs> oh this is the coolest photo guys. Look how picturesque is that? It's almost like a painting, isn't it? Cool is this very panoramic train fully loaded with coal perhaps from inner China going to the ports trains in full steam approaching tunnel seven westbound I like that photo. What is this Changchun name plate? And this is what is this small steam whistle from Steam Crane? Right, railway on a fence or industrial fence? That's for you. You can collect steam whistle. And that's another now in undercoat. Okay, I don't read Chinese, so sorry. It says plate datong as received. And what is this? This is just a print. But it says here, no, I'm not gonna read that. Another beautiful photograph. Look how cool. 
Jin Pension servicing westbound freight. Okay, so these are called freight trains for cargo. Okay, the same train. Can't get enough of the train, so they took more photographs. And that one, another landscape railway and a photo. It transports you, doesn't it? Wow, inner China is quite isolating. Very vast landscapes. It's so wide, you feel trapped. What an irony. Yum and meow. Eastbound passenger train. Okay, so this is a passenger train. How many miles did this train travel in China? My. Yum and meow eastbound passenger train. Mind blowing. I've never seen such vast landscapes in my life. 16. I think Russia and China will have similar vast landscapes. This is eastbound approaching sur summit, okay. Very cool landscape photograph showing the train in the middle in full steam. Same train, can't get enough of it, so take another photograph and more. <laughs> Are they the same? Hmm. Yeah, that's the same train now in close up. Wow. And this is eastbound at summit. That's your side view. The container van said China Railway. Next photograph. Near Guluman Han, westbound coasting into station to cross eastbound. Fast landscape, look at that. Almost like a painting. So, this is a freight train transporting coal. Mind blowing. And this is China Railway Yam and Miao. Another freight train crisscrossing the vast plains. No, not plains, vast landscapes of China. And another one rolling through on eastbound freight. Coal trains they are. Or steel trains, they transport steel as well. We will see that in other videos, some of the steel carrying freight trains. Westbound freight approaching station. So, probably coal is what powers most Chinese factories. And this is another eastbound freight um, drifting downhill near Chagang Hada. Okay, your trains do drifting as well. And this is your eastbound freight train. Another eastbound freight train. And this is the side view of that eastbound freight train 
And for the last photo, that is so cool, look. It's just so detailed. If you're a painter, that's what you want to paint. That's your train in full steam. Snow capped mountains. No, they're not capped, they're dusted with snow. My. Yeah, we've been to China before, but just on the southern part near Hong Kong. Shenzhen, Shenzhen, China. Something like that. And if you want to go to the inner parts of China, don't think it will take you short time like you do in the UK. You'll be counting days. Because it's just a massive country. Right guys, that's it for me for this lovely vintage train photographs. If you like any of these, leave us a comment. And if you like this kind of content, please leave us a comment as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you soon. Bye for now.